Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss the next topic of the EMS e equation of the DC machine. So in the DC machine, how the EMF generation will be possible. Generally, you know that the DC machines are two types. One is the DC generator. Another one is the DC motor. In these two cases, we have EMF generation equation is required. In the DC generator itself, you know that generate itself, our in intention is to generate the EMF. What about DC motor? In DC motor, the back EMF will be generated. The back EMF will be, what is the back EMF? The EMF generator generated in the, in the conductors due to the generating action. Okay. So this is the back EMF. So the formula is like this. The formula is EG or EB. EG is the generated EMF. EB is the back EMF. EG for generator. EB for the motor. Here the formula is 5ZN by 60P by A. What is the phi here? Phi is plus for fold. Z is total number of conductors, total number of armature conductors is the Z. Total number of armature conductors. What about N? Generally speed in the RPM. Speed has two types, N and Omega. Omega is the speed, the radian per second. Radian per second. And P, number of poles. So our machine have some number of poles that is also that is also depends on the EMF. A is the number of parallel paths. We have the parallel paths. Parallel paths is generally parallel paths depends on the current requirement. If the current required is more, current required is more the A value increases. That means it requires more parallel paths. If the voltage required is more high, that means then the parallel paths A decreases. A decreases. These are the two conditions. Okay. So therefore, the generated EMF will be depends on the phi Z n by p into a generally in order to remember this the formula can be directly we can write that is eg equal to p phi n z by 60 a this is the formula simply this is the simple formula it will be useful to do the so much problems and to find out the generated emf and as well as back emf next Generally, we have one thing in DC machine, the armature winding is full pitched and uniformly distributed. So to make the, to make, to construct the any armature winding, we have to look at the two cases for the armature winding. We have to look at the two cases. The first case is you have to look at the pitch of the winding that means it may be short pitch or long pitch like that and you have to look at the distribution of the winding it is unif it is distributed or not we should look at the two things but here armature winding it is an important factor that is it is a full pitch winding and uniformly distributed uniformly distributed that's why generally Full pitch winding represents with the KP pitch factor that is KP equal 1. It is due to the full pitch. What is generally the KP formula? KP equal to KP we have some formula sin alpha by 2. Sin alpha by 2. Alpha is the firing angle generally. And this is KD. KD means unif distribution constant that is the 2 by 5. That is the 2 by 5. How we are getting this? 
generally uniformly distributed kdu value is you can write like this that is sin m gamma by 2 by m sin m by 2 m gamma by 2 into m gamma by 2 into phi by 180 phi by 180 this is the formula in this we can write the phase spread value phase spread phase spread means how much distance occupied by the three phases that is we can represent with m gamma that is the 180 okay so if you substitute this we will get kdu equal to m gamma is 180 by 2 and again here the 180 by 2 into phi by 180 if you substitute this we will get kdu, KDU value is the 2 by 5 2 by 5 this is the uniformly distributed winding factor kdu uniformly distributed winding factor okay so for pull pitch winding kp value is 1 for distributed winding kd value is the 2 by 5 okay next what is the torque equation next topic is torque equation here how much of torque will be generated by the this dc machine generally we are discussing torque in dc motor why because in the dc motor itself we are giving the electrical out input and we will get the mechanical electrical input and we will get the mechanical output here so that's why in the mechanical output means it is combination of speed as well as torque speed as well as torque so look at here by using this formula we will write the torque torque developed equal mechanical power developed by speed here mechanical power developed by speed so we can write like this so, torque developed is tau and mechanical is the mechanical power and the speed is the omega okay yeah generally we already discuss the mechanical power developed in the dc motor we can write back emf into armature current here omega is 2 phi n by 60 why this omega in radian per second we should convert into the 2 pi n by 60 from this we can write the torque value already we discussed about the back emf formula that is p phi nz by 60 into a into ia by and 2 pi n by 60 this is 2 pi n by 60 so if you do the calculation we will get like this this is p phi n z by 60 into a equal into i a 60 by 2 phi n 60 by 2 phi n so 60 60 will be cancelled this speed speed will be cancelled and what are the remaining factors just write down the remaining factors then remaining factors equal torque equal p z a mm, 2 phi and the flux into armature current z p by by a 2 phi a so if you look at here p is number of pole z is number of conductors a is parallel paths so these all are the constant terms these all are the constant terms. so we can modify like this that is torque value i will write equal to, this is the constant that's why i will take torque value depend on flux as well as armature current flux as well as armature current so this is the important thing so in the dc machines the torque value is proportional to the flux generated in the 
flux generated in the in the DC machine and the armature current armature induces current the, the current flowing through the armature these two factors will affect the these two factors will affect the torque equation okay so torque will depends on two things the first thing is the flux flux in machine second armature current armature current these two things will be possible in the it will depends on the two things only okay so these are the two equations first equation is the torque equation and second equation is the emf equation okay so this is about the emf equation and the torque equation i hope all of you understand the session thank you